you heard that woman. Um, they're saying, why should we even go out? This is already decided. Why should we bother? So it, that sounds to me like a, a pretty good cocktail uh, for having a lot of Republican voters who support the president stay home. And then he's not going to get what he wants, which is to have his legacy uh, protected by these senators. Well, look, I still think that uh, the president will get four more years in office. I think it'll be the next four years because this thing is far from over. All right, you just but had certifications I, I it, today in Arizona, in Georgia, in Wisconsin. You heard well, Geraldo moments ago look, say, you know, it's time to accept the outcome of this. What what are you seeing or hearing out there that that he is not? Well, those certifications are just procedural steps. And the reality is the Electoral College does not vote uh, in, in their states until December 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, Congress doesn't actually certify anything until the beginning of January. So we've got plenty of time. Sadly, we have become accustomed to having to work twice as hard, three times as hard as a normal candidate or normal campaign. Uh, but we are we're prepared for this and we're prepared for the fight. We believe so that was Laura Trump, not only the wife of Eric Trump, but a spokesman for Donald Trump's 2020 campaign. And she was so delusional and embarrassing and pathetic in that clip. Even the Fox News anchor, she was like, you got to be kidding me. Basically, what the Fox News anchor was saying, what she was saying was, look, Donald Trump and you and a lot of Trump supporters have gone so far to basically suggest this is being taken from Donald Trump under the cover of night and Trump's lawyers are putting absolute lunacy into the public discourse onto social media, in their press conferences and all of that, that it's actually convincing some Republicans, not all of them, but some Republicans in Georgia to basically check out of the upcoming Senate runoffs because they feel that no matter what they do, the result is against them, that the deep state or whatever is working so hard for Joe Biden and the Democrats that it doesn't matter what an individual Republican does, because if they can take it from Trump, then they're going to do the same to Loeffler and Purdue. And Republicans have had to fight against this. You've seen Rona McDaniel fight against it. And a lot of others say on the one hand that, yes, we're going to continue to feed Donald Trump's baseless claims. But on the other, suggest that everything is fully undetermined and that your vote counts and this election will be purely legitimate. And they can't square that circle. They can't fit that square into a round peg. They can't do it. And so they're poisoning not only the broader democracy, but their own particular base and potential electorate in the very important Senate runoffs in Georgia. And so Fox News, as a conservative network where even the reasonable conservatives, you know, like Geraldo Rivera, even who wanted Trump to win, but now realizing he won't win now want the Republicans to do well in the Senate. They're saying, look, if Trump was gracious and moved on and the party could unify around Purdue and Loeffler instead of having to take sides between Trump and the actual election results then maybe we'd be in a better position. But this whole conspiracy has created a situation where the Republicans are on the back foot. And all Laura Trump can say to this, she doesn't own up to this. She doesn't own up to the fact that she's hurting democracy and maybe even her own party. All she can say is, well, I still think there's going to be another four more years of Trump. Absolute lunacy, guys. Lunacy to the core. This It's over. And what she's suggesting even if it worked, would be an unabashed destruction of democratic norms in the United States. It would effectively be the end of American democracy because she's saying, OK, well, certifications are just these routine things, which is BS because Trump and his lawyers have been fighting these certifications tooth and nail in every state they can. But put that aside. Put that aside. What she's saying is, well, the Electoral College hasn't voted yet and the House of Representatives, the, you know, the Congress, they haven't, you know, certified the results either. And so what she's suggesting is through the manipulation of the Electoral College or through the manipulation of the results in the congressional level, we can still overturn the, the outcome of this election, which was clearly a victory for Joe Biden, both in popular vote which was six million plus more than Donald Trump. And whether it's the Electoral College, which is the exact same size of victory as Trump had in 2016, which Trump himself called the landslide, the election's done. Just keep this in mind. 
Again, as I've noted, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but this really is like the right wing civil war, the civil war within the Republican Party and the conservative movement. You have conservatives at Fox saying to the Trump campaign directly, you're hurting our chances of holding on to power in the Senate. Please stop telling Trump voters that it's it's all predetermined. Please stop that. And the Trump campaign is like, nah, we're going to continue to do it because it's all a grift and we don't care who goes down with our ship. Look, if I was a Republican, I'd be I'd be mortified, but I'm not. So I hope they continue to fail. But just keep this in mind. The Trump campaign, they don't even care about their own party and their own base. They truly are self-interested monsters.